Hello friends, in last video we discussed about basics of regular expressions in MySQL. In today's video we will discuss that how we can identify a correct email address using a regular expression in MySQL. So uh, whenever we are going to talk about any email address, that email address is having specific format and to uh, to validate an email ad email address we need to uh, write some specific regular expressions fine so here i'm having one table that table contains uh, the details of customers and that in that particular i'm having a email address of uh, the customers fine now uh, in this particular we will validate the email addresses fine okay so for that i'm going to write uh, the query that is say select star from customers where email now i'm going to write regular expression fine so now that regular expression will be like uh, first what we will have is initially we can have uh, uh alphanumeric values fine so this one is going to represent first we need to uh, check at the starting point we should have some alphanumeric values so that can be a to z that can be capital a to z that can be 0 to 9 also fine uh, then we can have now this one is going to represent first character it was it will start with the first character now we need we, we can have n number of characters uh, in between fine so for that i will have the same thing over here fine now one more thing will be added in this particular is we can have a dot we can have an underscore and we can have my hyphen also fine now this particular string can be there in can be there in a number of characters fine and for this can be represented in uh, like uh, uh, 0 to n number of characters fine so to represent 0 to n number of characters we need to write star over here fine this at asterisk represents zero or more occurrences of that particular pattern fine then we will have another symbol that will be at the rate again after at the rate we will have alphanumeric values fine so that alphanumeric values will be like this again this represents one alphanumeric value now what we need to do is we need to uh, have n number of alphanumeric values so this one is going to represent 0 to uh, n number of alphanumeric value apart from that uh, uh, the next we have is the dot now this dot may be represented as a single character fine what is the meaning of dot for that you can refer my previous video fine so what we need to do is we need to make it a wild character so this wild character this backslashes are going to represent it as a wild character and after dot we will have again uh, alphabetical values alphabetical values like uh, uh, dot com dot au dot a ac kind of thing fine so uh, this one will be like uh, an alphabetical values so this will be like this fine now normally uh, after dot the domain uh, will be like uh, dot com dot au dot in or dot az kind of uh, uh, names are there but the length of that particular is I in between 2 to 4 fine so we need to specify the length of that also and that can be specified using the range 2 to 4 in uh, 
in curly brackets fine so how how can we specify the length for that you can refer my previous video fine and this one will be the ending of this one will be the ending of uh, ending of the particular pattern fine so this one is going to pick up this one is going to pick up a specific value a specific value or we can say it is going to pick up uh, a valid email addresses from the database fine so now uh, let's click on the go button fine so all are valid email addresses now let me change any email address over here in place of this i'm going to write uh, at the rate dot com fine so this is not an valid uh, this is not a valid email address now let us execute the same query again fine so this one has removed this one has removed uh, the invalid email address fine now suppose uh, i'm going to write not regxp not regxp so this this one will do exit opposite to this regular expression fine let us see the result of this fine so it has found the incorrect email address now let me change an email address over here say let me remove dot joseph at the rate com fine uh, now let us execute the same query again so here you can see it has selected the data it has selected this particular email address which is incorrect fine even we can have uh, like joseph.com fine now let us see the result of this now again let me execute the same query so it has selected joseph.com fine so this way we can have or we can design a regular expression which is going to select valid email address again i would like to tell that uh, this cannot be a fully functional with full validation of email address for full validation of email address we need to write a function or a procedure fine so this one is the small example where we can have uh, the demonstration of complex regular expression fine but uh, if we want to validate email in actual way then we need to write a procedure that we will see in upcoming videos thank you very much for watching the video see you next time